we've been discussing how praise is loud. And in the Bible, praise is very loud. But I want to explore just for a moment this morning this idea of quiet praise, quiet thoughts, quiet uh, thanks, and to be able to express, because I think that there are different times that go on during our day where we can still praise the Lord, we can still sing to Him, we just have to do it lightly. Last Sunday when I led worship, I, I, uh, we uh, were singing one thing uh, for a little bit and it's kind of soaking in that. And what, what ended up happening is I said, let's sing this very quietly. And we sang it quietly. And there's a, a whole dynamic change that came when we started to sing quietly. There's something in this that I think is important. I was trying to find some scriptural evidence of that, but uh, wasn't finding a lot of that at this point in time. But there's something about being able to sing to the Lord and sing quietly to Him. That to, to you know to to sing some of those songs that are percolating around in your heart and start to sing it quietly. And as you sing it quietly, there's something that happens inside of you. And and then you whisper your your thanks and your your praise to the Lord. Thank you, Lord, for for what you're doing right now. Lord, praise you that you're breaking into that guy's life. Thank you. I praise you for your love and your compassion. Thank you so much. And there's something in this this quietness. There's something in this whisper uh, to be able, you know, to, to sing a song. You are the air I breathe. You are the air I breathe. And as we do that, something powerful goes on inside of us. Something is transpiring, you know, spiritually that I think is very powerful, but it's only happening with a whisper. And I think that we need to understand that there is power in the whisper when praise and thanks are with it.